Welcome to the Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Marco Silva has said that he wants to include Jean-Philippe Gabamon in as many Everton team activities as possible. He said uh, Gabamon was included in Friday's pre-West Ham uh, analysis session. He said he wants to keep him as close to the team as possible so he can be fully integrated when he returns to uh, the side sometime in 2020. He said January, possibly, maybe even longer. We'll have to see, obviously, as Jean-Philippe had surgery last week on his uh, quad muscle, the tendon in the quad muscle. Uh, it was hoped that he didn't, he wasn't going to need surgery. Um, done gym work, was fine, but then when he got out on the pitch and done a bit of running, he felt something in his uh, thigh and it was decided by an external consultant that he would need surgery. So he's had that now and he's on the road to recovery. Silva said, Jean-Philippe is an optimist, so uh, let's keep his spirits up, give him the support he needs and we look forward to seeing him back in an Everton shirt. And yes, we do. Um, obviously, there was a bit of a, a new midfield makeup at the weekend and it did very well. But obviously, we want to have as many of our uh, first choice players fit and available for selection. And we haven't seen enough of Gabamon at the moment. But uh, good that Everton and Silver are keeping him close to things there. Uh, Moise Keane is on the 10-man shortlist for the 2019 Copa Trophy. Um, this following on from the Golden Boy Trophy as well, of course. He's in the final 10 with players like Jaden Sancho, Matthias De Litt, and, of course, Joe Felix uh, of Atletico Madrid. There's only Moise Keane and uh, Gwen Zini, or Gwen Buzzi, rather, uh, from Arsenal, who have made it from the Premier League. So, again... Keen being recognised for his talent. We need to get him in this Everton side as well. He come on and contributed at the weekend to the second goal, of course. Uh, and as soon as he gets a goal for us, I think he really will start turning it on and uh, scoring a few more goals. But obviously, another little bit of a personal accolade for him to be included in this shortlist as well. Uh, Bernard has said that he needs to start scoring more goals, but thanked his teammates and the manager for their uh, support which has increased his confidence. The little Brazilian was back in the Everton starting lineup at the weekend and put in an excellent display, scoring Everton's first goal in um, in doing so against West Ham. When it looked as though the opportunity had gone to shoot, but then a lovely little turn got away from a couple of plays and flipped it in um, and said that he thought that the defender had gone with him when he initially received the ball, which is why he didn't shoot. And then he needed to improvise a little bit, but he, he stuck it away and already he's got Two goals in the Premier League this season. 50% more than he got in the whole of last season. So hopefully he can continue to weigh in with goals. Because I think the thing with Bernard is he's such a good player. He, you know, Luca Dean is better when Bernard is in the side. But he does need to score more goals and get assists. And ironically, he would have had an assist in this game as well. Had the referee not disallowed, Gary Nunes, a perfectly good header uh, for no reason whatsoever. So there you go, more Confidence from Bernard. He wants to. Sh he's got to shoot more as well, which is something he also says in um, the piece on Everton's website. Check it out there if you want to. Uh, Alex Awobi is being praised by Tony Cascarino and Noel Whelan um, after his display on Saturday. Awobi playing centrally for Everton rather than out wide. Uh, came into the side in place of Guilty Sigerton and um, had an excellent game. And Cascarino said he, he was excellent all afternoon, full of running. Um, and really give Everton a different dimension. No, Whelan said that he was a real deal. He said he'd come from Arsenal with you know a few eyebrows raised that Everton went for him. He's come in, but his running and um, creativity has proved that it was a shrewd sign by Everton. He thinks he can have a fantastic season for Everton. And I hope he was. He had a really good game in that um, central area. And that for me, you know, it should be difficult now for Guilford Sigerson to get back into the side if a Wobie is performing like that. But an excellent start to the new position in the Everton side for Alex Awobi. Uh Under-18 striker Rafael Garcia has signed his first professional contract with Everton today. A 17-year-old currently out with a knee injury, an uh, ACL injury actually, which is going to keep him out for the full season. But he said he's going to return fitter and stronger for the 2021 season next summer. He, Garcia who joined Everton from Fulham. Um, injured early on in the season and he will miss the season. But congratulations to him on signing his first full professional contract. And finally, the referee has been chosen for 
Everton's trip to Brighton at the weekend. It's Andy Madley. He's only refereed one Everton Premier League game before. That was last season's 1-0 defeat to Brighton at the Amex. The only other game he's refereed Everton for was a Carabao Cup game against Norwich City. And we lost that one as well. So Everton will be hoping it's their time lucky with Madley as the referee for Saturday's trip to the Amex. Come on, you blues. That's it. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't, why not? And if you want more videos, get over and join us on Patreon. Have a great night. See you later.